Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today guys we're going to be talking about the judgement of the SNP special election May 17th. This is the Friday where today we will find out the starting results of the constituencies and the main results of the Scottish election in Scotland. The Thursday, uh, Super Thursday was the most important day since the Brexit and the uh, you know, elections and general elections, it's going to defer where the people of Scotland stand in the election in Scotland. Do they stand with the separatist SNP or do they stand with the Tories, with the Unionists? Or do they stand on the other sides too? Because there's a lot of division in Scotland right now and it hasn't been helped with the coof going around and everything else in that way. But today, guys, I want to talk to you about the the chances of the SNP overall supermajority, the chances of maybe they won't win the majority that they want, and the chances that Tory party might lose as well. But the thing is, we don't know. Because this is the most crucial event, I think, that we are, I've seen ever. And I've got all day to cover it. I'm going to be making videos, talking to people all day if I can, and see what people think, because there's election results everywhere in Scotland, and it's going to be a very interesting day to see what the turnouts will be. And yes, so let's go talk about the election. Well, it's been a bit odd. I've been finding a few things about the SNP's ele little election here, and it's been very strange. Like, they're allowing people who are refugees to vote in the election. Sounds like what Biden did to get votes. Weird. Or importing people to get votes. Nothing they sure about that. I just wondered why people who don't actually live here, who aren't actual proper citizens yet, which I've seen evidence of, have been forced to say, well, I vote SNP because they gave me the right to vote. I thought that was a bit odd. But then again, I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're going to talk about is the counting and everything else that's going on today. Because I think this will be very decisive. Because there's a lot of things going on at play here and people don't seem to realise it. But I'm here to tell you that's so. So, last night, unlike England, we, no one was counting in Scotland last night. Counting started at day at 9 o'clock this morning. This is basically when I started recording this video. So if there's any results, sorry, I'm a bit slow. But the any chance we might get the results on Saturday and Sunday as the final result of the election. Now, there's a lot of hype with the SNP victory, possibly, but reasons that the voting is so slow and they didn't bother counting, which I think might be a chance of fraudulation, just a bit weird, but off we go, um, is the fact that the coof, the virus that started spreading about the place and is scaring everyone and mother about it, saying you have to take vaccines now to save lives and stuff that I don't quite agree with the victimization of things. But moving on, we're going to be talking about that. And right now, there is no results, absolutely no results of what's going on in Scotland. And we've got the whole constituencies and regional votes too. And we will get the uh, regional votes mostly first, but the constituency will be later. This is probably where you're going to get the votes. I think we're going to see a very high influx of the Tories winning some sort of seats, but I want to tell you the main people that's going for the seats is the SNP, Tories, Labour, Greens and Liberal Democrats, all for Unity, the Arbour Party, Freedom Alliance, Independent and Reform UK, Scottish Family Party, UK Independence Party and others such as Independence. And yes, most of those people you might have heard already, I didn't actually realise Freedom Alliance and the Scottish Family Party were actually in this option. I thought they were just quite small in what they could do, but they seem to be getting the big seats too. And I'm not arguing, I would have voted for them too, but I had to vote for the Tories because we had to vote tactically. Now, I'm going to show you these two pictures here, right here, see them too? Uh, people were advised by the uh, All for Unity party, no sorry, George Galloway's party, the vote tactically, instead of voting for them, well they were told to vote for them too I guess, so, um, vote for them and vote for Labour, SNP, sorry, <laughs> Labour, 
Tolly and Lib Dems. Sorry, that was almost stupid. Um, they were told to vote for them in those areas. So if you're going to see a result, go and check these two pictures and check back later when most of the results are in and see, did any of these actually go through? Because we were told to vote tactically. Because this is the only way we're going to stop Nicola Sturgeon for demanding her independence. Now, the thing is with independence is, with everything going on, it's a bit silly to be going for that. But the main mandate is that. And although people have finally waken up to see how bad Nicola has done with everything going on right now, she lied to Parliament, or she didn't do exactly well, she just forgets everything, um, taxes are credible, the education is just fallen, um, the just absolute disaster the SNP has done, and there are over 200 things they have done which is horrible to people such as texting children, spending £60 million and wasting in seven days on schemes that supposed to work and then that was a taxpayer's money 60 million of your money by the way uk people got wasted in seven days i'm never gonna let that one go and there's plenty of other things the smp have done to not give them as much favorability as they have been and i can see that going to play out in the polls a lot but i would suggest another thing that's being suggested is the abba party led by alex salmon the former minister of the Scottish National Party. Now, the only difference I would say in this is if the ABBA party gets some sort of support, it will be interesting. Alex Salmond's quite keen, it's a new party, but his main ideals is for independence. And funny enough, a lot of SNP supporters have gone to the ABBA party because they just do not like Nicholas Sturgeon, but they like Alex. Although Alex is in a good egg himself, there's a lot of worry about that, if they were ever to get their super majority that he's been calling for. But it's causing division between the two about just about everything. But we don't know yet. This is a very don't know situation because people say, oh, we know, we know. And I'm going to show you this poll here that showed up not long ago and saying, well, they're just going to win a 65% majority. Well, you can say that, but if this poll was taken down from Edinburgh and Glasgow, they're never going to say any other party could come in. And they, we've all been told if you want to stop the SNP's majority, which, by the way, is probably not going to change Boris's mind, unless he gets persuaded to somehow, the... Chances of the independence going from him is going to take court cases and it's going to be an absolute mess. But it doesn't need to be thought about that much. But moving on. What I think this referendum or these votes could actually be is very interesting. We can see a very divide in the Scottish opinions because we remember polls for Scottish independence have been going up and down. Uh, polls and show you here as well. Um... Independent supporters, SNP supporters, Tory voters, unionists backlashing against each other. And I have to mention again, we have seen the biggest push I have ever seen against the SNP by the unionists. I think we've all finally mostly realised by now because they've done an amazing job by billboards, vans, cars and basically just telling the SNP to fuck off. And say, we, you do not speak for us. You do not speak the whole of Scotland. And there are plenty of us who like being part of England. And you might say, oh, I don't like England, don't like the toys. Well, a lot of people like trading with them, 70%. So, I don't know all about you. But we'll see what the results come out to be. The SNP cult will basically tell everyone they're going to be the bestest ever. And everyone will get unicorns and ponies and kitty cats and everything else like that and be absolutely fantastic but we'll see what the results can be and we will come back to you eventually with the results because Hollipool was absolutely funny to watch and well we'll come back to you later with a new video with talk about the SNP results and we're going to be talking to some people too see if we can get a few people's reactions and their voices heard because we can get a few days to talk about this so if you guys enjoy this content, please like, share, subscribe, and see you later for the next video. Thank you.
So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very, very end because that means you're a special person and you support the content that I make on this channel because every person who watches this is an honour to be watching this channel. And for anyone who wants to support this channel any further because we know the tech giants on Hollywood Boulevard do not want us to see each other's comments and don't just want to see the truth out there. So please be sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel and follow us on every other the major single platforms out there. We are everywhere as much as we can to be and we're going to try and make as much content for you as possible. But if you have any ideas for content out there, please be reasonable and use the word hashtag talk about it and the question below so in the comment section if you have an idea because everyone's ideas are free and optional no radical stuff and please be sure to fund us because we are all funding projects will go a long way to making you a must trusted reliable source so thank you guys hope to see you in the next one and remember hail the empire <laughs>